My camera says it's your darkness. And I'm supposed to this die. symbol is known worldwide as the Starbucks symbol. You see it everywhere you go in people's, in celebrities' hands as they're being shot by the paparazzi. You see them, um, people carrying it down the street. You see them um, on um, billboards and in magazines. This is the symbol of Starbucks. Starbucks is a worldwide symbol. According to the Starbucks website, there are 17,000 Starbucks worldwide in 50 different countries. They are the number one roaster and retailer of specialty coffee across the globe. The blend of comfort and style, music and conversation, and wonderful employees are what creates the hometown environment of Starbucks that has made it such a successful business. Starbucks are very much taken for granted. As I said before, we see them everywhere we go. But Starbucks started out as one lonely Seattle store in 1971. They only sold coffee beans and coffee accessories. Howard Schultz forever changed the face of the company when he joined in 1982. He visited Italy in 1983, and he saw the popularity of the espresso bars. He decided to bring back a similar, con a similar um, concept here to the States. He tested the idea in the corner of one of the Starbucks stores, but the original founders were not so excited about the idea. They wanted to focus mainly on the coffee beans themselves and not on the espresso bar. He later founded Il Giamale in 1985 and branched off from the Starbucks, but sold their coffee beans there. He was able to buy out the assets of the Starbucks in 1987, and he merged the two companies to create the Starbucks Corporation. This is all according to George Garcia, who wrote an article on the history of Starbucks at catalogs.com. It is my favorite place to study. I spend quite a lot of time there. I love the coffee, I love the tea, I love the food, but mostly it's the environment that is um, what makes Starbucks the enjoyable place it is to be. I go there more than twice a week, probably, depending on how much homework I have to do. The interior design of the Starbucks varies from place to place. Lawrence Cheek, a writer for the Seattle Private Intelligence, made the point in one of his articles on Starbucks that you walk into any Starbucks and they're very different from each other. There are no two Starbucks that are really the same. You walk into a McDonald's or a Burger King and they're all exactly the same. They're bright colors, plastic chairs, it's not a very comfortable place to be in. But Starbucks has changed, um, has broken that mold and has made a place that you want to be in. You can spend hours in there having conversations, working on homework, writing papers. Um, it's a place to hang out. Lonnie Skinner, the Vice President for Store Development for Starbucks, said it's less about the transaction and more about the experience. Thus, the comfortable chairs where I've often seen an exhausted college student take a quick nap, and the convenient power outlets for your dying computers and cell phones. Another imper important aspect of Starbucks are the noises. You walk in and they play music right away, of course. There's the, they play soft rock and jazz, and it all adds to the atmosphere. They have a whole, they make money off of the music industry. And they display CDs and have their own compilations called the Sounds of Starbucks. But it's not just about the music. You walk in and you hear the sounds of them making coffee as well. I love hearing the um, blender going and the brewing coffee and taking orders. And also hearing other people's conversations at other tables. You can listen in and hear what they're talking about and it makes you feel more part of the community. But the most important part of the um, Starbucks environment are the employees. Their attitudes are always positive. You always walk in and they're smiling and greet you. There's an 82% job satisfaction rate according to the Hewitt Associate View survey at Starbucks. And respect for employees is number one on the Starbucks six point mission statement, even before the customers. The employees are a very important part and because they're so appreciated, they um, re reflect that in the way that they do their job. When I walk into my Starbucks, most of them know me, my face by sight. A few of them know my name, and almost all of them know what I regularly order and comment if I order something different. In conclusion, Starbucks offers a place that is comfortable to be in, music that is soothing and not distracting, and conversation that makes you feel part of the community. The employees are friendly and fun to chat with. This is what makes Starbucks 
the thriving business that it is, the hometown feel, even in a big city like Dallas.